Welcome to our video on linking the time slider on a dashboard. We've done a video previously about putting a time slider on a report, so please watch that if you haven't already. And now I have placed that report onto a dashboard. And basically, as I interact with this time slider, I have linked all of my charts to the time slider so you can see them all updating to reflect that time slider change. For this to work, I activated the time slider on this master chart, I suppose you could call it. And then the charts that are underneath this, I had to make sure there was a defined start and end date. So I'll just open this up so you can see that. So there was an invoice date between. By having that set up, the time slider then can pass the values into that report. So I'll just return back to the dashboard and I'll show you now how we set up that link. So you'll need to edit your dashboard and you'll need to go to the analytical setup menu. So it's in this menu that I can activate any shared filters, uh, link any data, chart brushing, but this video is just going to focus on linking the slider. So I need to activate the link slider option, making sure that I have selected the master report or the report that has the date slider on it. Then at the bottom will be the other charts or reports that are within this dashboard. So simply make sure you open each of those and you need to tell Yellowfin the, the field that this date slider is gonna be able to pass through to that child report. So simply save that after you have activated each of those and then you can press OK. Now when I activate this dashboard, the time slider will be linked to all three of those charts, not just the top one. For more useful tips, please see our other videos.